every time you open up Internet Explorer to view a web page, order something online, read the news online, or even read your email online through a web-based email program, your computer is collecting temporary Internet files like images, web pages, files and other items related to that web page on your computer in a file called temporary internet files. All this information is being stored on your computer for no other purpose than to just increase the download speed of certain web pages that you frequently visit. Kind of a good thing. The downside is that after a long period of time, let's say like three months or so, these temporary internet files can take up space on your computer. Not a good thing. So every once in a while, it's a good idea to delete these files from your computer safely from within Internet Explorer itself. Once a day, once a week, etc. Here's how you do it. If you're using Internet Explorer, click on Tools, Internet Options. Then, where it says Delete Files under the Temporary Internet Files heading, press that button. A message will pop up saying delete all the files in the temporary internet files folder. Yep, you bet. Now, you can also delete all of your offline content stored locally too. Check that box and press OK. If the temporary internet files folder contains a significant amount of web page content, this process might take just a few minutes. Not long though, but it will take just a few minutes to complete. Once it's done, it's done. Over time, as you revisit old sites and visit new ones, your computer will start to accumulate more files again. Many of the same and some new websites you visit will replant their temporary files on your computer. But now that you know how to delete these temporary internet files, you're free to do just that whenever you need to. So remember to perform this task at least uh, once a day or a couple times a week, maybe twice a month or so so that you can remove all those temporary internet files and create space on your hard drive and remove all this information that is called temporary internet files, web pages, images, etc. So you're doing great. Come on, let's continue to the next video tutorial.